Scouts back in my garage, and I'm playing this because I got a lot of requests to play. Again, <laughs> normally I don't ooh, pound through games uh, one after another, unless it's a long drive and there's an update. I did some work in my own time. I have made nine thousand five hundred twenty-four dollars and ninety cents, and I did that by buying another car exactly like mine for like I don't know six grand, fixing it up, and then selling it. Uh, without fixing it up completely, I did some minor work to it. I put maybe a thousand dollars into it and then made like three thousand dollars. So I, I came out of it with two grand and it probably took me about 45 minutes. So it worked out pretty good. I've organized some of my stuff as you can probably see, but this was my big thing is I was down at the junkyard looking for a part and I found all these awesome parts that were new. So I scooped them all up for cheap. So if I need them, I got them. I even got this, uh, this right fender in case I need it. I got... Uh, tunnels. I got this, um, like they added chrome grills. So I have that. I might put that on my own car though. Um, because I can, uh, and even like, even though this thing is still pretty wonky, I think it's just the grill in the, that front metal piece needs to be cut out and replaced. We can do that some other time. Uh, I'm not super worried. She drives all right considering, and it's a good runaround car, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm considering taking the roof off, the back seat out, and then the separator between the two, and then using it like a, like an El Camino or something, or a pickup truck. Um, oh, wow, this is from when I was uh, uh, painting. I painted that other car that I sold, and I got a ton of stuff here that I got to just kind of throw away here. Let's get rid of that. Now, what I want to do today is I've been dreaming of a hot rod project for a while. Now, when I saved the game, I checked over here, and there was one of those coops. One of them coops over here for sale. And I wonder if it's changed since the game has been saved, but I hope not because it was only like seven grand. And I think I could get it uh, at least started for a couple of grand and extra money. Now, we got to wait for this to open because if you peek, there's nothing here until right now. There we go. Okay. Was this the one? Oh, this is going to be worth like 10 grand, isn't it? Oh, it's 12 grand. It, it changes. Son of a gun. Uh what is wrong with this one? This one, actually, the block is not great, but, oh my goodness, this is, this makes me so angry, because, like, it's, it's almost, it's almost perfect, and I can't afford it. Um, all these are a decent amount of money. I wonder if I could, is that rust? What is that? Is that just, that's just reflection. Okay. So what's wrong with this one then? Oh, it's got a bad valve cover. Looks like it's got a bad pipe. We could uh, buy one of these, fix it up, and sell it today. What's wrong? What's wrong with this one? Why is this one cheaper than this one? And this one needs more work. What is wrong with this one? I don't. I don't see anything super wrong. It needs like plugs and wires and and belt and all that, but. Otherwise, it's looking pretty, looks like I may need a new differential, possibly. I can't quite tell. Um, oh, exhaust is shot. I have an exhaust in the garage, though. It's got a dent in the rear end here I can pound out. You know what? Maybe we'll scoop this up, fix it up some, and sell it, and make a few extra bucks. So that we do jobs uh, and make some money, because if I need twelve grand to buy that piece of crap over there... I think I'll buy this and see if I can't pound it out and then sell it again. Because I can at least get nine grand for it. So let's buy this. That takes up almost all my money. And I got some parts in the garage. Maybe we can fix it up and uh, get rid of it. I think I can probably drive it over there. Because I just want to fix it up to sell. It looks like it may have a flat tire. Maybe a broken spring or two. But we'll figure it out. We'll get over there. We'll see what we can do. We'll start uh, basically buying and selling cars. We'll flip them. Nice. It works. It's very loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's pretty. Guy needs, needs, needs a seat. Needs that one back panel. Oh, my God. It's vibrating my ears. What is going on here? Okay. Let's only take a second. We'll get him back to the garage. Nobody hit me, please. All right. So, we're going to go back to the garage. All right. Let's see here. We'll pull this in. We're going to replace that exhaust right away. <laughs> All right. It's a little further up, and I think we should be good about there, maybe. Okay, let's turn the wheel off that. Okay, boy, that was loud. Let me out, boy. 
Okay, let's see here. Okay, that's actually a really good spot. All right, let's see. Let's get her up on the hoist. We'll fix what we can. And then we will, uh, we'll just flip it for some money. Like, why not? And then we can make a few extra bucks. We'll check for rust and stuff. We'll fix that up. We'll repaint it. Ugh. And sell it off. All right, let's get this. Oh, actually, you know what? First, we're going to pump up that tire, see if it holds air. All right, let's see here. Okay. That's that. Let's check the other tires just to make sure. I don't remember any other flat tires, but we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, yeah, I got all the tools kind of lined up here, ready to go. Let's get her in the air. The exhaust is shot. You can tell by the sound. But if we can fix it up, pound out a few dents, we might be able to make a grand or two off of this fairly quickly. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's just the actual exhaust. And I got two exhausts over there, brand new. Let's get this exhaust off. We'll fix it up. So currently the value of the car is uh, 8974 Remember that number. Let's see. Let's get this off. All right. Let's get toss this in a pile here. We'll grab a new one, and we'll flop it up there. Oh, wait a minute. That's a sedan exhaust. That's a coupe. I think the coupe exhaust is what goes on this, right? Yep, okay. Does that bring the value up? Yep, brings it up a little bit. Not a lot, but enough. And considering what I paid for it, it's it's worth nothing. So it looks like that shock, both rear shocks are shot. Um, does it have a collapse spring, maybe? May have it. No, I don't see any collapse springs there. We got one control arm. That is broken over there. That uh, caliper's broken. Or not the caliper, I guess. The, uh, oh, what do you call that? Doesn't matter. Anyway, you know what I mean. Oh, it needs a new belt, new oil filter. Probably should do an oil change on it. And I think we could just uh, hammer out the rear end relatively easily. Um, I think. Let's give it a shot. Okay, let's just bring it down some. We'll start pounding away. See, this is the kind of gameplay I like. I'm fixing things, but it's better than, in my opinion, than... Mechanic simulator, which I was enjoying. Don't get me wrong. Where would I put my hammer? There it is. Um, it's just, it's, it's too easy. I don't think I can pound this out. <laughs> oh, open up. Okay, the gas tank shot too. Um, I, th I think she's pretty yogurt back here. But we can always unweld the rear quarter. And the rear, I think we may have enough money for that. But we might be able just to replace some basic parts and sell it as is and make, you know, four or five hundred bucks off. Like, I'm already up to ten grand on this thing. Like, I've already made a profit of a thousand dollars. If I sold it now, I'd make a grand. So, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. I like working on things a bit higher up if I have a choice. So, one, the wires can come off. But we can take the valve covers off, replace the valve cover, replace the oil filter. We'll have to do a fluid change, but that's fine. We'll replace uh, that alternator down there. Oh, I can't quite see. Oh, there we go. Valve cover's off. All right. Now, this will give us a chance to look inside the motor and see if we got any bad pistons in there. I don't see any. Oh, we got one rear piston's bad, but we can swap that out easy enough. We don't have a ton of money here, but we're going to uh, we're going to do all this what we can. All right, let's see here. Okay, okay, there we go. I may have a set of wires, too. Did I have a set of wires kicking around? No. But that's all right. Okay, let's see. We'll get the wires off. We'll buy a new set of wires. This can go in the junk pile. That's fine. We got one bad piston, but that's easy enough to change. We got a bad oil filter. We'll get rid of that. I think we have a bad belt. Yeah, bad belt. These are all easily replaceable items, too, which is nice, because they're just all, like, right there. Maybe we can body fill that rear end in. What do you think? Think we could, like, super body fill the rear end in? I think we should try, for sure. We, got, we need this, this uh, lower hose. Is that the upper hose? The lower hose, yeah, we're fine there. We need to take the alternator off. Decent. Okay, I think we're good here. So let's just get these parts replaced, and then we'll worry about... That piston, and then maybe this control arm here. We'll do it all in sections here. All right, so we need an alternator belt, a new set of wires, an alternator, and a lower pipe, and an oil filter. So let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, so we need an alternator, which is expensive. We need an alternator belt. 
We need new valve cover. Let's see, where are the wires? Wires, wires, wires. Let's go to engine for a sec. Uh, new, no, that's the wiring, main wiring harness. There we go, new set of wires. And we need an oil filter. Now, normally I'd go get the cheaper stuff. We're also going to need a gas tank. But we're, I'm just wondering if I can bondo the living hell out of that rear end and fix it. It's going to cost a lot of money, but where is... Oil filter, there it is. What else did I need? I needed that, that, that. We got the exhaust. We got the... Oh, we need the lower radiator hose, right? Yeah, lower radiator hose. And that should take care of everything in the engine. So let's see here. Lower radiator hose. Where are you? I get scrolling too fast and then I, I don't see it. We're going to need a gas tank too. Lower hose. Buy that. All right. So we'll do this. This crap's easy. So we'll just put this all on. And uh, we'll do that. All right. Pick this up. Grab this. Oh, whoa, okay. Pick. Are you the bad one or the good one? You're the bad one. Why would I want you? All right. Grab this alternator. <laughs> we'll slap this baby. Oh, I can see it. All right, let's uh, let's hook this puppy back up. All right, let's see, get that and that. That takes care of that. We can put a new belt on. I said we can put a new belt on it. There we go. Fixes that. Uh, a newer lower radiator hose. That can go on. We'll bolt that down. Let's see. Lower radiator hose. Fixed and fixed. And then we'll put the uh, put the wires on it. And then put the bar, put the new... Oh, actually, we'll put the valve cover on first. And then we'll do the wires. All right. Pick you up and grab you. And we'll go over here. I'm in the crouch mode still. That can go on. And this... And this... How's that radiator? Radiator all right? I don't see any leaks. All right, let's uh, let's get in here and fix this up. This and this can be bolted down, and there. Okay. Now we'll grab. Okay, yeah, I can't do it. We can't pick certain items up while holding the wrench, but that's all right. Okay, we'll put this on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, we're fine there. Okay, here we go. That goes on. Grab the wires. That could go on, and that only costs us a couple hundred bucks. What's car worth now? Oh, we made a few bucks. Okay. Now, um, we could probably change that piston out. It's the body damage I'm concerned about. Any rust and body damage seems to cost enough. Oh, let me see here. We can always sell. We're already making a profit on this car, so it doesn't really matter so much. But we'll, uh, it's probably going to need an oil change anyway. So we'll just, you know, we'll do the piston while we're here. Where are you, piston? There you are. Four, oh, 48 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, we'll put that in. I thought it was like way more expensive than that. All right, put this in. There we go. Piston in. Which is a weird thing. I don't think I'd ever do it from the bottom myself, but hey, what do I know? All right, let's put this back on. We'll tack that back down here. Okay, here we go. We're not tacking down, I guess, but bolt it down. Oh, no, it pulled that one out. Okay. Does that make it worth any more? Well, a little bit, not a lot, but it's it's going. All right, now let's uh, tackle the back end on this thing. And see what we got going on here. All right, let's see. It'll be also be worth more when I put the hood back on it. Now, curiosity begs the question. If I remove this taillight, can I actually get at it? Okay. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I see it, I see it. You come out and you come out. You don't have any lights in you. But you're still physically all right. So, well, I can't see. I'm going to remove this one too, just because it's probably going to move when I move the body panel, if I can move the body panel. All right. So let's, uh... Oh, look at this thing. It's so bad. Okay, let's let's grab... Oh, let's grab our body filler. <laughs> Can you body fill this? No, oh, this is this is super shot, eh? Um, I wonder if I can... Now that I have everything pulled off it, can I pound that out? Where's my hammer? There it is. 
No, I won't let me. It just will not let me do that. So this quarter panel is is shot, and this rear end is shot, and this this hood is shot. Now that's gonna cost me more than two hundred twenty three dollars. Let's um junk these parts out out through the window here, or out through the wall actually, and then we'll see how much those panels cost. Because if we can do it relatively cheaply for a couple hundred bucks, get her done, and then just sell the car with uh, unpainted, if that's even a possibility. Maybe replace the gas tank, put the hood back on it. So there is a limit to the damage that can be fixed by hammering and uh, <laughs> the other type of stuff. So we also got to put fluids back in it because I, or at least oil anyway. Um, you can go in there. So let's just, out of curiosity, you know what I need to buy is a separate grinder so I can, uh, so I can have one set up all the time is what I kind of what I want with the grinding disc and one set up all the time with the polishing disc. Yeah, this is, this is double fucked. <laughs> let's open this door up. I bet you there's a weld in there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, where's my grinder? There we go. All right. So this panel is super banged up. I wonder if I can pound it out with a hammer and, and possibly bondo it maybe. All right. No, I can't do that. No, we can't do that. All right, so what is this? A quarter panel for the rear left coupe. Quarter panel. All right, let's go check the books here. Let's see what it's worth. Buddy. Let's see. Uh, rear left coupe. $97. It's not that bad, actually. Okay. Okay, 97 bucks. is not bad. Where is it? Nice. Okay. We'll go put this on. Which is not going to line up anymore with the rear there. That's fine. But we'll get the uh, welder out. And then maybe replace that back panel if we have enough money. And that should... And then the trunk lid, maybe. I don't think we have enough money for all of it. But we'll give it a shot. All right. Let's see. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. That can be welded. Is this is this weldable? Where, where does... See, I think it's just so badly damaged back here that it won't allow it to weld up. So maybe we got to take this back panel off here for a sec. Where's my... Oh, yeah, my grinder's going to need a new disc. All right, well, you know what? We'll get to this. Hang on a sec. You know, I'm not going to make you watch all of this. Don't you worry. All right. Let's get up under this joint here. All right, so let's see here. But this can come out. That can come out. Am I... Oh, I'm sliding around on the welder. <laughs> okay, I was like, am I moving? What's going on? All right, All right let's bring this down. You could come out right there, right? Is that is that everything to come out? To have that come out? What's this attached to? Well, it's coming out. Oh, there it is. Got it. All right. So the new trunk floor can go in. Then we can put the new back panel. If I can afford a new trunk floor, that's going to be the thing. And I got to make sure I get the right one for the coupe. Every once in a while, I make the mistake and I grab the wrong one. So trunk floor looks like it's just a standard trunk floor. Grab that. And now I have two. Oh, nope, that's the old one. All right, that's fine. All right, we're going to put you in. And we're going to weld you to... Now, this car is not going to be perfect. I'm just attempting to get it somewhat okay so I can uh, sell it for a couple of grand profit. That's that's my whole idea. Okay, here we go. Nope, that was not what I wanted. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's see. Weld you back on. You back on. And... Um, I can swear I'm missing because I only got one weld on this freaking piece here. And that, that rear deck lid's kind of dinked, but that's fine. All right, we're going to put this one back in like this. Where's my welder? There it is. Pick you up. Tack, tack, tack. Something's bent here because one's on the outside, one's on the inside. So that's kind of neat. <laughs> It's all right. Okay. Weld that on. Now, there's one here. I know there is. I, 
I could have sworn it was right here. Like that, that's, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Let's take the trunk lid off for a sec and see about pounding out that panel behind it. Okay, so the trunk lid's off. Let's see if we can pound that out. Where's the hammer? All right. Is it fixable with Bondo? Because Bondo. <laughs> Bondo works wonders. All right. No, it is not. But uh, I don't want to get into having to fix that, too. I feel like this whole side of the car is just dinked. All right, let's put the, the front hood. No, no, we're not going to do that just yet. What are we going to do now? Okay, so this is also mangled up here. But what's the car worth at the moment? $10,694. So if I put everything back on it, paint it up, what is this color? Uh, 04432C. And this will just, we'll put it all back together, we'll paint it up, we'll sell it as is, make a few grand, and call it a day. All right, got that up, fixed up. Okay, now what's it worth? Look at that, 11516 Like, you can really uh, bring up the value of a car with a paint job. All right, let's see here. Let's put the hood and everything back on. Oopsie. Hood can go back on. All right. Even without the fluids, I can sell it for that much money. So maybe I won't even bother with the fluids. They can do their own. We can now sell the car for... Yeah, okay. So we're going to sell that. Bam. And now we have 11000 bucks, And we can sell off a few of these parts and make some extra money. No gas tank in it. Okay, we'll get rid of all these extra parts. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. By the way, I also found out that the radio plays internet radio. Uh, I was sitting in the car and uh, working on, oh, what's this doing under here? Um, working on something and uh, Phil Collins is in the air tonight came on and I was like, where is that coming from? I thought something happened to my computer and I'm looking around, I'm going, why, why am I listening to Phil Collins? Not that I mind, but I'm listening to Phil Collins. <laughs> and then I realized it was because I actually turned the radio on in the car. So all you got to do now is you come over here to sleep and you hit enter and it skips ahead three hours. So we just keep looking back and forth until it's daylight again. There we go. And let's go see if the options at the, at, let's just sleep once more because we can't. And I think they added these trash baskets, but I, oh no. Oh no. Let me off. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Just trash bin. I think I can just throw stuff away in the trash bin. Let's go see if the options at that um, dealership place changed. Um, I just want the coupe and that's going to be my super duper fun car until he either releases more cars. Cause I'd really like one of these big old grumpy V eights. that just keep going. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, now we have only you now. Okay. Still 12 grand. You know what I'm actually, you know what we're going to do? Hang on one second. So I saved the game and reloaded it to see if the car options over here would change. I really want that fucking coupe. And if I could get it for like six or eight grand, even nine, I could probably start working on it and I'd be super happy about it. Oh my God, we might have new options. Okay. Someone said I should do that as a ringtone. Would you guys like me to do that? <laughs> to do a ringtone or a message notification? <laughs> Is that something you guys are interested in? <gasps> There's another coop here. There's a really damaged coop and the spring just fell out of it. <laughs> Okay, this one looks to be in better shape than that one. Engine doesn't look great. All right, let's just take a look here. So this is what? Nine grand. 9,700. This is 9,600. Um, better, en it's not better engine, I guess. That one just says, that one's got a better transmission. Yeah, this one's got a better tranny in it. And it, what kind of damage does it have? Not a lot. This one doesn't either. Boys, I don't know. I don't know, boys. Um, this one definitely has damage up front. This one doesn't look like it actually has damage up front. Am I looking at that right? Does this, does this look like it's damaged less up front? And this one's got more damage up front? Yeah, because that whole side's mangled in. I think I'm going to buy this one. Let's buy it. Screw it. Let's buy it. Let's buy this. We got all sorts of parts falling off the car. We got one mangled uh, piece there. We're going to take this, this broken spring. Forget it. I'm not going to bring it with me. Okay, so 
The problem is, is I can't drive this one back to the shop, obviously. So let's uh, get it towed to the shop. It's going to cost a hundred bucks. Now it's over there. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Yeah. That's, that's not good. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to get it into the garage, but I think the goal today should be, because we only got $1,900. But it sh it might roll under its own power, if we're lucky. So let's let's just uh, let's get in it here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna start this up. Okay, it, it runs barely. Okay, can we move it forward under its own power? Yeah, it's gonna go. It's not gonna go very good. Oh, this is a dangerous game to play. Thank God we're at low speeds. All right, we're going to run over our own stuff, so hopefully that doesn't freak it out too much. Should have made a path. I think right about there is good. Off. Okay. Got to see what's going on with the suspension here. All right. The door will not close. There we go. So let's just... Uh, Take a, a wonderful gander underneath. <laughs> see what see what's going. On. I got I already saw some rusty stuff there. All right, let's uh, let's get it up. Let's see what happens. All right, getting it up, scapegoat style. Checking out the car as it slides backwards on the lift. All right, let's take a look. So, rear suspension's not bad. The pot's good. Can't tell about the brakes at the moment. We might have to pull everything off to check that out. But we got bad shock. We got this uh, pan hard bar, that control arm. Rusty. Missing a lower control arm. The cradle shot. This front panel is mostly shot. Although we might be able to fix that up. Um... Transmission looks good. Block looks good. Uh, let's see. Now, it was sagging to the right. Looks like it has a collapsed spring. And obviously, no spring on this side. So, I'm thinking... This is a good candidate to become my hot rod. So, let's uh, start by tearing off uh, some rear... We'll start at the rear suspension because it looks like the least amount of work. Although I'm convinced it's got a collapsed spring. So that's not a, that's not a big deal, though. All right, let's get this off. Let's get that off. That can fall out. We'll lower it down and see if we can't get that shock out. Because we'll bring what we'll do is we'll bring it back. Ugh. See if we can afford a set of race of the lowering shot, uh, springs. We'll do that right off the bat. Oh, this gas tank's got to come out. All right, that's fine. There goes all my gas. I had free gas, and now it's all gone. All right, so where's the... Oh, no, that one can stay in. It was this one that was the problem, right? Yeah, okay, so that can fall out. I think that'll just fall out on its own now. Yep, okay. Did it go into the trunk? Is that where... Yeah, it ended up in the trunk. So, this... so maybe we'll just pull all the springs out. Replace that control arm up front. Now, there's something rusty up front here. We'll check that out when I get up. Oh, that was just the rad cradle. So, or the um, steering cradle. Steering looks good, actually. Um, now, we can't see inside the engine yet, obviously. I'm going to have to take a peek in there and look for bad pistons. But it does need a new head. That is a definite must. And it looks like the carburetor is shot. But we're probably replacing it with performance parts anyway. So it's not a big deal. Okay. Now I should probably do the cradle, but let's get these parts sourced and in place. And then, okay, dude, stop tripping around. So we need a rear shock, a rear control arm, and a rear lower control arm. So let's go get those. So let's see here. Suspension. So we need a control arm for the rear, right? Yeah, and then an upper control arm. And then 
a rear shock absorber, and we'll get you know we'll get the um, uh, double the price for those, eh? We'll get two rear lowered springs because I wanted to lower this car anyway, so this will just make it a bit easier to do. Now this time I'll remember to zip my shocks down because I someone pointed out I forgot to last time and they were totally right. So let's get. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Where? Get, dude. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get in this upper control arm or this pan hard bar, I should say. Is this is this not right? Is this? Oh, there it is. That was that was just the control arm. This is the pan hard bar, right? Yeah, okay, so then we'll zip all that down. We'll pull the springs with the spring compressor, obviously. Uh, okay, let's see. In, in, in. Which one am I missing? It would be this, right? Bolt that down. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, let's get the springs out with the spring compressor. Oh, nope, nope. We don't need to pump a tire right now. Okay. <laughs> we could, God, I love playing this game. I can play it for days. I'm telling you, days and days. Let's get you out and you out. Where'd it go? Must be in the trunk. All right, we'll grab one of these, stick one of these in. Now, that's going to lower the rear end, obviously, but we don't care about that. Um, at the moment, we're not driving it, so it doesn't matter. I think we're going to go with the 15 inch tires this time. So they actually fit in the, in the wheels, in the wheel wells. Um, I would love to go with a bigger one. Let's, oh yeah, but while we're here, let's button up that top shock so I don't forget. And that pretty much takes care of the rear end completely. All right, let's see what else we can do here. Let's get this. Okay, here's this. And we'll grab that and we'll look up here. We'll lean, oh, we're just going to tack that on. Okay. The, oh, there's the spring. All right. Excellent. Now that spring, that spring's good, right? It was this one over here that's collapsed. So we'll keep, you know, we'll keep this good spring over here in our parts counter. There we go. Um, but all these other parts are broken, so we'll just get rid of those right now. And uh, so they're just not hanging around causing me problems. All right, let's see back here now. Let's get these tires off. There we go. Everybody's always mad at me because I throw away good parts, but I do it mostly just to uh, clean up the shop more than anything. Let's see here. Now this is missing its complete uh, lower control arm, but we'll get that unhooked. Like that. Now, it should be just the upper control arm holding it in at this point. Oh, and the um, the brake lines, obviously. Oh, no, the upper control arm wouldn't be holding it in. I oh, want well, one button, the top one here. And then take that. Oh, come here. Oh, I can't reach you. I can't I can't get in there to get that brake line out. There we go. Brake line should fall out. Bam, bam. All right. So let's take the lower control arm out. I don't know what's holding that in. Nothing should be... Nothing should be holding that in still. I disconnected both engine mounts, right? Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, well, what's holding you in then? All right, let's just, uh... Is it because the, the steering's still hooked up? Let me see here. Could be the tie rod, maybe? Now that whole piece should fall off without that tie rod connected. Yep, there we go. I 
I don't see why this isn't coming off. Oh, well, you know what? We'll just start pulling it off. All right, there we goes that. Did I not lower the bottom of this, this bottom shock? Is that is that what's holding it up still? That might work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything just fell off. Great. All right, so that's unhooked. That's unhooked. I don't know what's holding this in at the moment. Ah. Let's check it from the top. Okay. Oh, I bet you. No, that wouldn't be it. Oh, I didn't unhook the... Oh, jeez, I thought I had that one. Okay, well, that makes sense. Up you go. All right. Um, perfect. How's the steering rack look? Eh, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad. We'll take that off so we can reuse that. Pop. Thank you. This has to go. Because it's shot. So we'll get a new cross member. All right, let's see here. Oh, okay, come on. There we go. Wait a minute. Do I, not, do I have one kicking around? No, I have a rear axle. Never mind. So we need a... Is it under engine or is it under suspension? There it is. We'll buy that. There we go. And then we'll just crawl around here on the ground, assembling everything. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'll put this on here. Can I do that? Okay. Maybe it has to be in the car for that to happen. All right, let's see here. I want to put you right there. Excellent. Crawl around on the floor. I just imagine people driving by and goes, what's that mechanic doing crawling around on the ground in there? <laughs> okay, so that can go on like that. No problem. Both the shock absorbers look good. Let's see here. This is the upper control arm. I should be able to mount that. We also need... A lower right-hand control arm for the front. Let's go look. So let's see. Lower control arm. Front left. Got it. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to put that in. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get in there. Thanks, fool. All right. There we go. You can go on. We'll put the other control arms back on. Oh, jeez. I like taking these things out as single pieces and working on them like this. It makes more sense to me. Because this is how I... Oh, wait a minute. That one's a lighter color. Does that mean it's no good? Or is it just is it just me? I wish you had a button to check a part. You know what? Let's get a new lower control arm. This one... Is it me or is it... Well, okay. You know, stop it. It looks to be a, a different color, does it not? Or is it just the lighting I'm in? I think it's a different color. You know what? Let's get a new lower control arm. They're not that expensive, and we might as well if we're here. I'd rather have something good and pay a little bit, um, pay a little more and just be, like, safe on the safe side. Let's see. Was it? Yeah, yeah, it, it is a different color. Lower control arm. Now let's, uh, what do we want to do here? Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go get the front lowered springs. We'll get those put in. Where did I put my spring compressor? I put it back, which is rare for me. All right, here we go. All right, put this in. There we are. And then put this one in. There we go. Perfect. And now we got to put all the hubs and whatnot back on. Was it this side? Okay, what, what was this one then? This is a hub carrier for the left. Oh, I just didn't just didn't get it. I guess. Okay, no problem. Um, put this one in here like this. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. 
that goes on. That goes on and that goes on. Now each shock absorber I think can go in. But we can only tighten up the bottom for it. Obviously, because the top part's mounted to the, the inside of the body there. All right, so we're going to tighten these up where we can. Is it on the other side of it? Oh, it is too, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. We got that side. And there. Okay, so that takes care of this whole assembly, does it not? Did I, tag, did I bring these down? Did I, did I tighten these up? Yeah, they're fine. All right, let's uh, put this up in place. And then uh, stick her back to the, f the rest of the car. What happened? Okay, what happened? Okay, that was a little, okay, that just freaked right out. All right. Oh, it's because the spring's compressed. Woo, this scared me a little bit. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, this can go up. That can go up. And the shocks are in, right? Yeah, okay, so we gotta do the shocks at the top. But that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's bring it down. We'll do the shocks, because like I said, I forgot last time. Someone pointed it out, and they were very astute when they noticed that. Ugh. So I would like to put that on, and whoa, okay, there, <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's on. All right. So now that, we'll put the wheels back on just for now. Even though they're mismatched, that's cool. Oh, the brake lines. I forgot the brake lines. Well, hang on a sec. Let's get her back in the air. Up we go. Okay. I knew I forgot. I knew I was going to forget something. All right, let's see here. And that. Okay, that that hub may be shot, but we'll uh, we'll the hub carrier may be shot. We'll see. All right, let's uh, put this up here. And this up here. What did I just do? What did I just undo? There. Okay. There we go. So now if we put it on the ground, it should be sitting much lower. Oh, are you down all the way? Oh, you are. There you go. Just double check to make sure it's down all the way. Yeah. Looking aggressive. I like it. Okay. So now let's see here. Carburetor shot, the head shot. How are our hoses? Hoses are all right. Radiator good. We're not leaking. Oh, the head's always a pain. What about inside the engine? That would be nice to know, wouldn't it? Looks like we got maybe one bad rear piston, but it's hard to see it. There may be a bad rear piston here. I can't really tell from this angle. I think we're going to have to get it up and take a look in the oil pan. But until then, let's get to... Woo, okay, where did I... Oh, there it is. You come off here. All right. God, I love this. How's the air filter? Oh, air filter looks good. Brand new. All right. Let's get uh, that off. She's going to need a carb, but we're going to replace it with uh, fancy carb stuff anyway. You can come off. Now, I don't think I have to. Actually, I think I could remove everything as a single piece here, but we're not going to do. Oh, no, I can't because the head bolt's on from under the valve cover. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay, good valve cover. That's fine. When we take the head off, we'll be able to tell if... Uh... Oh, is that timing chain kind of broken? Ah, the timing chain doesn't look good either, does it? I fought with the timing chain the first time I built an engine in this game for about 20 minutes before I figured out how to get it on. All right, we'll take the header off. Or the intake, I guess, in this case. 
Intake off. Exhaust off. The whole exhaust is going to fall off now. The head's gone, so that's good. Now we can take a look at that piston. Now even the head gasket looks good. You go back on there. So the cam looks good. It's just the uh, the head is shot. And it looks like, you know what, the timing chain maybe. Because, you know what, we'll get a new head. New, you should always replace the timing chain. If, if you're in there, you might as well do it. Let's see. Head, head, head. Cylinder head. Buy that. Where can I get a timing chain? Timing chain, where are you? I always miss this. Timing chain. It's probably still good, but I'd rather replace it than have a bad one. So let's get this other head up here. There we go. And where did I put my... There it is. All right. All right. This is going quite well, actually. Okay. Take the old cam out. Too bad they don't have a performance camshaft, but you don't really need one, I guess, in an engine this size. Unless you're going to go to, like, uh, a turbo or something and you want a custom ground cam for that. There we go. All right. Mr. Timing Chain. I think you're fine. But, you know, you know me. <laughs> Waste money where I can. All right. All right. Let's put you back down. Okay, now this is where I always forget. Can I just put the timing chain in there? Is that, is that okay, I can't see, I can't. <clears throat> now what was it? I cannot remember. I fought with it for a while before I get the timing chain onto that. But I can't remember what I did to get the timing chain to go in there. Because there was something I needed to do for the timing chain, and I can't remember what it was. Well, let's get the, the water pump off. We'll reuse the water pump. Is that good? All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. Tack you on. All right, there we go. And you on. There's just there's something about... the timing chain and I can't remember what it was did I have to put it in see this one will go in here I think it's because the cam's in maybe that's it at least it didn't take me as long to figure out this time as it did last time jeez that was a process all right Okay, let's, uh, let's plot this back in place. Bam. All right, let's tighten all these bolts down. Now, normally, it'd work for the inside out, but again, video game, and you have to set certain torque specs. That would be interesting if they added that to a game where you had a torque wrench and you had to adjust the torque specs. All right. Okay, this is going swimmingly. Okay. This, this can go back on. Now, if we really want to hot rod this, we're going to need all the hot rod performance part things. Which is like, uh, exhaust, intake, yada, yada, yada. We got to change out the distributor for a performance one, the fuel pump for a performance one. So if we want to do that, we might as well do that like right now. Is that, is that the performance one? Let's get these wires off. There we go. That looks like a small distributor. And then, where's my fuel pump comes off. Oh, there's there's no spark plugs in this. Did they all come out when I removed the, oh, that's not a big deal, but just, whoops. <laughs> that's, that's kind of insane. All right, so let's get, oh, okay, let me up, thank you. Let's get, uh, where's the distributor? Horsepower distributor. Performance fuel pump. 
performance carburetor, right? There we go. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's go put all that crap on. So you can set aside for a sec. We'll put you in. Oh, I can't even see it. What? What's going on here? Okay, where's my... Oh, I'm doing it again. There it is. Got parts laid. This is what happens when I try to go fast. Parts just lay everywhere. All right, there we go. So that's hooked in. Um, oh, yeah, performance fuel pump can go in. That means I can put the wire or the, the hose back on. All right, let me see here. Control down. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's put the, uh, the fuel line back on. And the fuel line's back in. All right. Now, we don't have any... I think the spark plugs are probably just in this head. Yeah. So, the spark plugs actually don't look bad. We'll pull them out and see, but they don't look bad, so maybe I'll be able to reuse the spark plugs. Come out of there. Get out of your home. Oh, my God. Just come out. Did it come out? There it is. All right. Jeez. Okay. Perfect. All right. You go down in there. Grab the spark plug wrench. Tighten the spark plugs up. On, 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 and on. All right. Excellent. Where are my wires? There they are. Put these back in. Hot potato, baby. There we go. Coil looks good. Need to put that rad hose back on. No problem. Um, there it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, radiator hose. Tighten you down. You down. I don't think I did the engine mount, so we'll do that while we're here. That looks good. That looks good. Now this rusty front bit here looks like it's taking a bit of a hit. But being it's so rusty, I'll probably just replace it. But for now, yeah, it's definitely taking a hit at some point. Um, I might be able to pound it out, but who cares? All right, so we got that on. What else do we need? Oh, yeah, gas tank. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. We need also to put this set of carburetors on here. Meaning we no longer need the air filter and everything. Looking good. All right. I don't think there's a performance exhaust manifold. Um... Did, did everything just fall down here with the exhaust? Crap. There it is. Grab that. Let's get under here. I'm never going to reach it from there, so we'll we'll bring it down again. See, this is going smooth as silk right now uh, compared to when I first built the car. Let's see. Please tell me that's it, because I can't I can't see anywhere else there. Perfect. All right, this exhaust looks good. Yeah, this exhaust is fine. All right, up you go. Down so we can bolt it. That headliner needs to be replaced. All right, where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see here. Exhaust is now attached. Everything else. Oh, we need a new belt, don't we? Ooh, this isn't pretty. All right, let's get a new uh, alternator belt and a new gas tank while we're here. So let's see, new alternator belt. New gas tank. 
So, where's the... Oh, there it is. There we go. And then the gas tank can go in. And be bolted down. Once I remember where I left my wrench. Probably just laying around somewhere. <laughs> Knowing me. Oh, there it is. All right. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, gas tank. All right, let's get this zipped in. Perfect. Okay. I want, does it have the parking brake on it? I don't remember seeing it. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Parking brake cable's there. So we're good there. So what else does this need? I need some body repair, obviously. But let's uh, bring it down. Performance carbs are on. Batteries in, right? Yeah, okay, we're good there. Um, I say we get rid of this and this, and then we go, we push it over to the gas station. Now that I know how to put gas in a car and see if she runs, because that's the whole aim of all this, right? Is to to gussy it up and have a sports car, isn't that? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to put oil and whatnot in it too, aren't we? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just, okay. Slow down, slow down, please. Okay, I think that, I think that'll be, a, okay, it's maybe a little further back, maybe. But I think we can get gas in it from here. All right. But we'll worry about the, 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 the fluids first. So, I need one of these, two of those. Which seems to no longer require me to pay for them or something. Um, and a little bit of brake fluid. All right, let's get this all uh, done up here. Okay. And let's try not to lose our cap this time. There we go. All right, I think we're getting it in there now. All right, there we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so close. Okay, then we can start the body work in the next episode and get it all pretty. Everybody pick a color in the comments. It also needs a name. So if you come up with a name... We will use it. Oh my god, how much is in this freaking thing? Oh, it's so close. Okay. All right, so everything's topped up as far as I can tell. Okay, let's uh, let's see what happens. All right. Oh no, we got a flat tire. What the heck? Is that tire flat? And that tire's flat. Oh, wait a minute. Do these tires leak air? Whoa! Okay. Well, it should be good enough for just a, a rolling around, I gotta imagine. All right, let's, uh, let's pump you up. All right. Check that. All right, this one's uh, completely flat. Where's the thing? There it is. And then this, is this one flat? We're good. All right. I think that's all of them. Okay. Let's just not run me over, please. All right. Let's just see if this thing will start. Uh, okay. Just get in the damn car. He doesn't like getting in this car. All right. Let's turn the wheel. All right, well, it's missing something. Let's get her across the road and find out. Oh, God! Stop! Thank you. Oh, it's doesn't have fuel. That's what it is. It's the fuel. Sorry, bud. I'll get out of your way in a second, I promise. Stop, please. Okay, there we go. Let's put, uh... Put a little of the guzzoline in it. All right, here we go. I did the same thing as last time. I just flipped up my uh, my cap, but it didn't disappear this time. We'll put twenty dollars in it. Let's just do that. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen ninety-eight. Got it. Good year. All right, so let's put the cap back. Excuse me, cap back in. Bam. Top down. Okay. 
Hopefully it was just I didn't have fuel in it, and that was the problem. All right. Center it in here. Okay, there we go. Let's just turn her on here. Oh, it runs. Well, at least one of the lights works. All right. Oh, it's, it's better than it was before at the performance engine. It's not as aggressive. It's nice. Okay, that's perfect. Whoa! It's a bit wandery, but it could just be the tires are worn out. There we go. Okay, yeah. It wanders a bit. Bad tires, flat tire, who knows. Okay, let's just uh, see if we can't turn this around here. Oops, wrong one. Okay. I want to do a burnout. Do you think we can do a burnout? But I'm talking like we'll, drop, we'll dump the clutch. Hang on a sec. Let's see. Whoa, God, she's just all over the place. Oh, she's much faster than my other car. She's wandering, though. Oh, God, she's wandering so hard. Yeah, it's, it's really wandering. Is it just the tires, maybe, do you think? All right, this is turning out to be a good project. Let's pull her in here. We got to do body work still. Well, not today, but we're going to do body work. Put her down in neutral. Let's turn this off. Is it, it's not overheating. Fuel's good. Battery's good. All right. So something's going on here where it just, it's wandering like all over the place. And it could, like I said, it could just be the tires. Because the tires aren't looking great. Um, so something to look into in the next episode, I think. But I'm going to have to make some money between now and then because I can't afford anything good. I forgot to close the gas cap. Jacob Bomberino, that's for you. And I got to clean up in here. Although we're keeping all these crap that's salvageable. People get real upset when you get rid of parts. You know how many times I've heard the comment? We're just saving parts for the new cars. Like 50 times. Not even joking. At least 50 over the last two episodes. <laughs> But also, again, I just want to thank everybody for uh, 20,000 subscribers. Like, dude, seriously, I don't even know how to say thanks for that. Um, put some more parts over here. It is is awesome. Like, I am just stoked about the future of my channel. And I've never really thought about it before until recently. So there you go. Um, this was that weird one that I wasn't sure about. We're going to get rid of that because it scares me. Um, and I got all these parts. Oh, my God. Yeah, but, like, I was totally not ready for this in any way shape or form uh i remember somebody commented a few years back and said uh or i guess it was about a year ago and they said you know can't wait till you see like five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand subscribers and i said ha 20 20 or i think it was ten thousand like ten thousand subscribers that's never gonna happen but i really enjoy doing what i do and then here we are <laughs> so that worked out not too bad. I like this. I like this car. It needs some body work. And you know what? Maybe the alignment's off because it has taken a ding in the front end. As you can see, that little dent right there. Maybe it's a little out of whack and I have to fix it. But I guess there's a little dent over there, too. I did I did button down the shocks, right? Yeah, I did. I did button down the shocks. All right, no problem. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I'll figure that out. If you got any ideas, tell me what you think it is. Leave it in the comments below. If you like this episode, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Dog subscribe. Get your subscribe to subscribe. Uh, smash the, the like button. I don't know why I say this is stupid. All right. So if you didn't like this, you know, maybe you should find yourself a real YouTuber because I am not much of one. Join the Discord if you get a chance. Link is in the description below. Don't feel obligated. I would never try to push that on people. Scapegoat. You know me. Love every view I get. Out.